Thank you. So we have courage. It's giving me willpower, discipline, strength. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And we have gratitude. Something about your third eye. See? Something about your intuition. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Someone is very grateful. Somebody shines bright. Like, so bright. This is how somebody is seeing you. Like, no matter what you go through, you still have the strength and the courage, you know, it's giving me, like, the perseverance. Um, it's giving me, like, the nine of wands to keep going. Someone is very grateful. No matter whatever the situation is, someone is very grateful. Somebody could be admiring that about you. Yeah, happiness and adversity. I cannot make it up. It's like, no matter what somebody go through, they for constantly, you know, being in this thankful, happy energy. This is beautiful. Yeah, look, abundance. You guys, I'll keep getting, um, you guys could be, uh, receiving a lot of angel numbers at this time. Yeah, you guys are ending up things that no longer serve you. You know? Even if it even if it did make you sad, somebody is seeing the happiness. Like somebody is seeing the joy. They faith I heard they faith is will keep them alive. Somebody is missing you. Somebody could possibly want to take you out. Give me a bonus energy, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Depressed, feeling guilty for their behavior and unhappy with the outcome. Yeah, somebody is very un unhappy, whatever this outcome is. Somebody could be looking over at you like, how how are you still perseverance? How are you still moving on? Um, all this adversity that you experience, how are you still able to be happy? You know, how are you able how are you able to still be giving gratitude? Because somebody realized that it's bigger than them. And God don't do, do anything unless, as you know, he, he, you know, God do everything with purpose. So if something happened, it was some, it was a purpose behind why divine did that. Okay. Maybe you someone who know how to handle your feelings and emotions differently. Doesn't mean that you don't go through anything, but you know, the way you handle them is very different from whoever this person confirmation, whoever this person is that's depressed. Maybe this person felt like, you know, I you know, let's keep going. Maybe somebody thought it was going to have, like, an adverse effect. Like, you was going to be, like, down and out or something. Yeah, soulmate. I am drawn to you in a way I never experienced before. A love so deep and complex. This person is very drawn to you. This person is in love with you. They never experienced a love like this or anyone. Maybe you guys used to have, you know, a very good time together. Like big kids. Joke around, play, a lot of playfulness. A lot of laughter. I'm hearing when it was good, it was good. Like you guys really enjoyed each other company. This person, Spirit said this person really enjoyed your company. So sabotage, thankful, advice, irresistible. Introvert. This person loves you a lot. And, it, and this connection was real intense. I'm hearing it kind of like scared or frightened this person. This person could have been asking for advice on friends, family, about the situation. I feel like this is your energy. Just so thankful and... <laughs> Thankful. I am thankful to have you in my life for both the small and large things you do. Self-sabotage. Withholding love from you. I withheld love from myself. Self-doubt. So if you feel like this person didn't show you the love that you deserve, it's because this person, they don't even feel confident enough to love themselves. They self-doubt. They have a lot of self-doubt. They, You know, they, they, they doubt you know, things where you might see humor in it, like, oh, that's small, you know, just let it go, you know, don't make a big fuss out of it, you know, 
You know, you could be like someone who's constantly motivating this person, you know, bigging this person up. But it's something about this person that they just didn't believe in themselves. You know? Yeah, look at this. Reunion and power couple. This person is missing you. You guys could have been very different. You could be someone who likes to talk a lot. This person could be someone who just, you know, um, spend a lot of time in their head. Hmm. Texting. So, give me more of this energy, Holy Spirit. Yes. Somebody feels like somebody feels your energy. Um, somebody feels like you're moving away. They can feel it. You're irresistible. I cannot resist you. You are the best I ever had. You have my undivided attention. Now, some, uh, it's giving me that now somebody wants to give you everything now. They want to give you every gift, yeah, picture perfect, communication. Expect them, it says, expect a message soon. soon. They want to express how much they truly miss you. Somebody's going to express how much they love you. Like, how can we take things from, you know, to the next step? How can we do things differently this time? Picture perfect. You are beautiful inside and out. I stare at your pictures all day long. I'm not picking up on like a um like a cheating. Okay. Like I feel like whoever the third party was, it could have been somebody's friend or family. Okay. Maybe they could have gave them the wrong kind of advice to help them sabotage this connection. Maybe somebody could have gave him advice and told him, like, yo, you know, it's just you, you know? Because what happiness and adversity is giving me that somebody was expecting perfect, maybe. Because with the adversity, you know, no relationship is perfect. You're going to go through changes and challenges and obstacles, you know? But you got to, you know, with the happiness, you got to look at it from, like, a heart space. Like, you know, have faith, like, you know... This too shall pass. This person, you know, doubted this connection. And I I just feel like, you know, you you just you just loving on your energy. You you just in tune. And somebody could be like, well, damn, I'm feeling like this. And you know, this person, you know, doesn't seem bothered. They don't seem to be reaching out to me. You know, I feel them in, you know, energetically getting away. Yeah. Mm -mm. Somebody here, yeah. apology and grow old. This could be when somebody wanting to, um, you know, bring you some type of apology. Be very apologetic at this time. Um, they could be wanting to propose an offer to you. Somebody could be wanting to lock this down. What's this irresistible Holy Spirit? Because they don't see nobody like you. Never met nobody like you. This person could experience some, you know, some, a lot of energies, but it wasn't. <laughs> It wasn't nobody um, in this divine energy. Yeah, irresistible is clarified with good times. Focused on the present, enjoying each and every moment you make together. This person enjoyed the moments that you guys uh, made together. Maybe you guys went away together. Maybe you guys started a business together. Maybe you guys built something from scratch. You guys enjoyed. It's something about you. You guys shared a lot of memories and made memories with this person. You know, it's unfortunate how, you know, somebody let their own selves get in the way. Yeah, player, fantasizing, untrustworthy. For some of you guys, you don't trust this person. You do feel like this person had other people, had other options. Somebody feels like you're over it because you're not communicating. Butterflies. The butterfly knows the beauty of change. It settles when you least expect it. Something about this person is changing. The way they see love, the way they view love, 
It's like somebody is now seeing, yeah, with this green and green here, something about this person's heart chakra um, could be awakening. It's like somebody is now starting to see life or love the way how you do it through your lens. Somebody's kicking their own stuff in the behind. Yeah, dance in love. Thankful. Transformation. Yes, energies. Yeah, you got to be the real... Divine feminine, divine masculine. Only you could do this. Mm. I'm surrounded to the soul. I'm surrounded to our souls and allowing us to dance in love. Thankful. Transformation. I am making a conscious choice to transform into my higher self to be with you. I said that. Somebody is now seeing things differently. You help this person, divine feminine, divine masculine. Take out our resonate. You help this person. Like, see things through your your lens. Like, the reason why you are the way you are. Somebody is realizing, like, just because it's adversity don't mean that something can't change. I can't be happy with someone. Um, We have energy. I transform into my higher self because of you. Your energy changed me. I cannot make it up. Everything I'm just repeating itself. Thank you, Divine. Yes. I've transformed into my higher self because of you. Your energy changed me. Your energy changed this person. If this person did have choices or options before, okay? You changed this person. You made this person want to be a better person. Nobody was able to change this person. And and, and honestly, you know what, Sunsteed? Nobody can really change anyone at all. That person has to want to they they have to want to change for themselves first. Nobody can't force anyone to do anything. But you being uh, in this per are a catalyst. You being a catalyst in this person's life. Okay, it was meant to be the way how it went down. You helped this person see things differently. Not only did this person want to change, change themselves, but they also want this connection with you. Somebody don't want to want you to get away. Somebody is so thankful to either have met you. You know, experience someone like you, but you know, been in someone like you, energy, be around you and enjoy the good times, have conversations with you, listen to music with you, laughter. Somebody could, um, you know, be a songwriter, a DJ, a promoter. Somebody could be in the music industry in some type of way. Somebody could just love like, like the way how you are. It's like you're so full of life and you're so confident about it. It's this joy that you just bring. You could have made this person feel really good about themselves. Yeah, best friends. We share everything with one another. You get me and I get you. Comfort zone. Arrogance. Speak up. Yes. This person was very arrogant. Ugh. This person was very arrogant. Okay. I allowed my pride and ego to get in the way of our connection. I thought I was the catch. Oh, they thought they was the catch, so see. <laughs> so see. Oh my goodness. Right? They always go down like that. Into a real silent energy, just walk in the room. And they ain't gotta do nothing but just appear. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody wants to, yeah, fantasize it, missing you. Yeah, surprise. <laughs> Somebody sees you as picture perfect. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah, son sees you, yeah. You can expect the apology from this person. So. This person wants a brand new beginning. Somebody don't like this feeling. It's like, this person could be hearing voices in their head. Because if you see this depressed card, it look like a little a bunch of ears coming out of this person's head. Like this person could be hearing voices and love. Yeah. This love could be haunting this person for the decisions that they made. And love. Loved you yesterday, love you still and always will. Avoidance. I really want to be close to you, but I avoid emotional attachments out of fear. I wouldn't be surprised if the devil card come out. And that just, if it, if it show up, it's only because somebody was afraid. Somebody let the fear hold them back. Somebody let the fear get in their head. Ooh. 
untrustworthy guy. Yeah, somebody feels like they can't trust nobody. Something about you has to be wrong. Somebody felt like they wasn't seeing something. You were, either you was hiding something from them. Yeah, somebody, I don't know what's wrong with this person. You know, something was wrong with their mind. You know, um, it's very, it's a beautiful thing if this, you know, this person changing, you know, um, because, you know, the mind, I just heard the mind is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> I tell you that it is. Um, but you know, you change your mind, sun seeds, you, you know, you change, you change your life, you know, something about this person's mind is changing the way they, they think, they thought pattern, untrustworthy, what are you looking at, I made mistakes and lied in the past, will you ever trust me again, so you could have caught this person, you know, um, maybe looking at someone else, doing something they had no business doing that you felt like, you know, it goes against, you know, your morals and values, so you decided to pull away. Somebody is saying, you know, yeah, I made mistakes in the past, but basically, it's like, is you going to hold that against me and guide it? My spirit guides are helping assist in this divine connection, new insight. Yeah, I feel like spirit is working with both of you. Look at this rose coming out this person's head. This person's in love, this pink rose. Something about them was either immature or, you know, a player, you know, somebody who probably possibly could have got around. Maybe you decided you wasn't going to be a part of no third party situation for the ones who was a third party. Because for some of you, it was player stress and love triangle. Yeah. Divine feminine transformation energy. And you pulled your energy back. He was like, if I'm not going to be the only one, don't even worry about it. And somebody must have thought that you was going to be down and out and depressed, but I don't see that happening. I see it happening to them. But it was you. It was meant to change this person, whether they're aware of it or not. Because the way somebody was doing something just wasn't right. Give me more Holy Spirit on this energy, please, and thank you. Look at you. You said, I ain't got to play with them, Empress. Divine Feminine, you came straight out. <sighs> Only you could do that. Okay, Empress, loving, caring, very abundant, fertile. Um, constantly is always a growth in you. You know, you always having, you know, the, um, the ability and energy to persevere through things. Perseverance through things. Um, somebody feels like they're reaping a karma for what they have sown when it came to this empress. And if their energy was foul in any type of way, they are feeling it now. We have the hangman. So we have um, Libra, Taurus, and Pisces energy out here. Somebody feel like you're letting go. You're pulling your energy back. Give me more of the spirit. Just page of swords. And they watch you and spy on you from afar. That's what I'm saying. It's like something had like an adverse effect. Somebody was, uh, I don't know, this person, you know the empress. Nobody that ain't born in no empress energy. It takes a lot of, you know, adversity, <laughs> challenges to get to the empress energy. This is why you this empress. You've been through a lot. Four queens in a deck. You done been through it all. That's why you are this empress in this happy energy. Um, very abundant energy. It's because you've been through a lot. You know when to let go. You know when something just doesn't serve your highest good. And maybe this person is used to people chasing after them or calling them and texting them. You're just not doing that. And they feel in some type of way. This person is now feeling it. Yeah, this person is spying. Six of Swords under the bottom. This person, yeah, Six of Swords, the Fool, Two of Cups. Damn. Yeah, this person is about to take a leap of faith. They, they, they come and told you. Oh, yes, they is. They want this partnership with you. Mm-hmm. This person wants this new beginning. 
This person feels like they're being guided to come towards you. They're being led to come towards you. It just, it's, it's, I heard your, your energy is very healing hermit. This person could be at, um, in solitude. I see somebody letting go of old patterns and taking a leap of faith into the unknown. Yeah, eight of cups. Can't make it up. Letting go of old patterns, you know? And I feel like, you know, your guys are showing up in this reading, you know, helping and assist this connection. You could have been like, well, damn, like, for some of you guys, you could have felt like this, whoever this person is, they walked away from you. But it's giving me, like, everything was divinely orchestrated to go down the way, like, the way it did. So this person could change. So something in this person could change. Because maybe spirit probably, divine probably felt like if you would have stayed in this person's energy, they probably would have changed. You know, because you being so loving and so caring, you know, spirit's like, no, I need this person confirmation. I need this person to learn the hard way. Five of Wands, I cannot make it up. I need them to learn the hard way. And, and not saying purposely, you know, want them to learn the hard way, but something has to change. Could have been a tower. Yeah, it's giving me that somebody is now surrendering to the divine, like letting go. And it could have just been, like I said, an old mindset. But somebody is watching how, how you have changed and how you have evolved. It's like, this person knows that you've been through a lot with this adversity and happiness. They know that. They could have thought confirmation. They could have even thought you was faking. No, this is who you are, Empress. This is why you're the way you are, Empress. This is why you're the way you are, Empress. Do I need to say it again? You done been through it all. <laughs> Period. Give me a card on the page of swords, Holy Spirit. It could be a lot of people gossiping um, about this connection. The Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords? Some type of sudden action. Or somebody could be talking about how quick something happened. What's the Knight of Swords? Something happened quick. The devil. Yeah, somebody could have felt like People could be talking like, oh, you know, I thought everything was all right with such and such. I thought there was relationship was okay. I thought everything was all right. And then out of nowhere, it was a breakup or something happened. Two people separated or two people are no longer talking. Like what happened? Yeah, the devil. Somebody let fear hold on back. They self-sabotaged the connection because of their toxic ways. Justice under the bottom, Capricorn, Libra energy, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Somebody could be seeing something online. Somebody could have been, uh, somebody could have been talking about like, you know, a commitment, a marriage. It's like with the justice, like what happened? Somebody also could be seeing something online. It's a lot of guys, but what's the devil? Judgment. Whoever this person is, they're under judgment. Mm-hmm. It says awakening, renewal, and change. Yeah. Whoever this person is that's going through this awakening, okay, that's under judgment, they want a second chance or with you. What's the eight of cups? Yeah. The eight of cups is clarified with the ace of pentacles and the star. Damn. Who? Child. Somebody like, oh hell to the no. Somebody could be in a public eye. It's like, wherever you left and went to, Empress, you reached a destination of a lot of prosperity. You know, I see you, you know, uh, your manifestations coming to fruition. You guys could be opening up new big businesses. You're building some type of legacy for yourself. It's like as you heal, 
as you heal and you have this like self-confidence to create, you know, whatever this is that you're creating or you're working on, it, it's just like you just do it so beautiful and effortlessly. I heard kindred spirit, very kind. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Somebody could have been holding on to you because they know about some new passion, new beginning. Okay. I just see you surrendering, you know, Empress. Give me a card on the star. Aquarius energy, the star. Ooh. The card fell out on the floor. Ugh. It fell out on the floor, but we have the um the higher friend. Taurus energy. Somebody is a leader. Somebody is a healer. That's what I'm saying. It's not that you don't um mag magician, five of swords in reverse. And now the swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody thought you was going to be stuck. You wasn't going to be able to let go. Somebody wanted to hold on to you. Four swords. No, you seen something and you walked away. Yeah, you pulled your energy back. And somebody is realizing that they sitting with their own energy because this beautiful energy has left. Somebody is under judgment for what they did to you. It's not that you don't go through things, but you being in this, you know, you being this healer, you just seeing that it's not that you don't go through things. It's not that you won't go through things. It's just the way you handle and deal with things is way more better than probably, you know, the regular average person. You're awakening your third eye. You see things. You know that, it, you know, it's bigger than you. You just know how to handle things better than people typically would in this 3D low vibrational. You know, energy that's out here. And I keep hearing the dog walk. Somebody would a player, that, yeah, a player that got these feelings hurt. Mm -hmm. Give me a card of the fool. Five of Pentacles. Temperance and King of Swords. Yeah, somebody guardian angel. I said, okay, guardian angel, spirit guide came down and saved this earth angel. Yeah. Somebody guides came down and saved this earth angel. Yeah, they seen what somebody was doing. Four of wands, ten of wands. It's like, you know, let me let me move you out the way. You know, let me move you out the way because what you don't see, we see in the spiritual world. We see what's going on. Let me move you out the way and deal with this person. Yeah. What's the temperance? Sagittarius energy, king of swords. Things are being balanced out now. After having patience, after some time, self-control. Yeah. I feel like whatever you've been through, you're alchemist. Ten of Pentacles. Justice. Eight of Wands, damn, something is about to happen quickly for you. Some type of abundant, uh, big windfall. Like, I'm, I'm here, like, something is going to happen real quick. Okay? This is your justice. The Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Wands, the Shrimp card. I'm telling you, Queen of Pentacles, you had the courage. You had the courage and the patience. Um, to persevere, you had the willpower to resist anything that was trying to hold on to you or hold you back. Ace of Wands, Will of Fortune. Yeah, congratulations on completing out a cycle. You know, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands. This could have been a marriage, Ten of Wands. Something was burdened, or somebody is dealing with. Um, a lot of responsibilities, nine of pentacles, or somebody thought this nine of pentacles by marrying this person, they can put their responsibilities, they'll burn them out. What the hell? Page of pentacles. Queen of swords, six of cups. 
Now, it could be a third party that was trying to burn somebody out because they knew that somebody wanted to come towards you and have a new passion to begin in them. Okay? And somebody wanted to make it hard for somebody. Okay? And they could have gotten to somebody's head. Three of Cups, Seven of Wands. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Maybe you might be standing your ground between, you know, with a reconciliation when it comes with this person. I also feel like this person is being blocked from your energy into, uh, let me see something. Somebody know they want to spend their life with, with you, okay? They know that. <sighs> this minced tea sun seeds. Yeah, a lot of you guys are prayer warriors. <laughs> That's how you're able to go through this adversity and happiness. Like, I'm hearing it's okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, somebody guys always let them know it's okay. Yeah, this person is getting caught up. Yeah, caught up and bound. Someone actions are catching up to them. Bound, feeling bound to the current situation. Yeah. Transformation. Somebody wanted to have somebody stuck. Okay. And heavily, this could be a third party that was trying to have this person stuck. Let me see. Phase. Uh, phase of this phase will end soon. Okay. Clench your space. Protect your energy. Yeah. Kicked out. Hmm. Kicked out in altercation. Okay, so it could be a fight breaking out. Or maybe a fight had broken out. Okay. Somebody divine masculine can be finding out that somebody was doing spell work to keep them away from the divine feminine. And somebody could now be self-reflecting, desiring, smirching in the emotions. Yeah, this person is fantasizing about you. Somebody is going within. Yeah, they realized that it was a toxic family doing something behind the scenes. Yeah, somebody is realizing a missing piece when it comes to their damn muse. And now they're at a breaking point. What's that? New news? Something we're thinking about New Year's? Oh. So whoever your person is, some sees they could be going through awakening and realizing that somebody was out here, whoever, the, somebody is realizing that a karmic was trying to have them stuck. So they wouldn't go towards the empress now. Yeah, the grass was fake, angel numbers. I said that earlier. Somebody could be seeing angel numbers. Something could be significant around Thanksgiving. Something could have happened around Thanksgiving. But yeah, or Halloween, Halloween and grass was fake. Somebody did something around Halloween or Thanksgiving. Growth and blockages. Somebody knew that somebody wanted to move forward. They knew that. And so they somebody was doing a trying to all right, block it spell well. Somebody was trying to block something for somebody. Whoever this toxic family is, they knew that your person was desiring you. They knew that. Yeah, somebody tried to block a reconciliation. Seven of Wands, Three of Cups, King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. They didn't want somebody to come towards you and reconcile. Yeah, dead. Something is completely... Something has come to a complete end. Fork in the road. Somebody wanted to end somebody's decision of coming towards you and walking away from them. Yeah, gratitude out here twice. Somebody... Signs of symbolism. Watch for the signs of symbolism. Like purpose. Hidden truth and black magic. I'm telling you. Somebody was doing magic to try to keep this person away from you. Somebody knew that this person was fantasizing about you or even having visions about being with you. They knew how this person seen you. Yeah, purified. Your energy is so pure because you look growth. Somebody knew that it was nothing that this person wouldn't do for you. They knew that. Yeah, whoever this fake behind person, they blocked it. They, they blocked it. 
somebody knew that whoever your person was, they was ready to make with this empress and hangman and paint the sword. Somebody was watching. Somebody knew that this person was ready to make some type of sacrifice, meaning to where this person was ready to leave an old outdated mindset, an old outdated belief. Um Something that was all outdated, somebody was ready to leave that and start over with their empress. They knew that. And somebody was whipped up something or did something to see how they can block somebody from coming to this empress or block this empress person from coming from them. Give me more on this empress. Somebody was happy as heck. It was like very happy to be with this empress and then something just happened. Somebody, ooh, empress, not of swords. Somebody was having anxiety. Damn, not a sword, ten of swords. Somebody wanted to hurt. Damn, eight of pentacles. Somebody was working to hurt somebody. Damn, somebody was trying to go hard to try to stop something for this empress. The tower. Four swords. Damn. Queen of Wands, four of cups. The moon card. King of Cups. Two of Wands. Somebody is realizing like something was just an illusion. And somebody is now walking away, but it's causing a tower. And somebody is hurt. When I say hurt, I mean, this person is like, ooh, chef. Yeah. Nine of Cups, Five of Cups, Queen of Wands, King of Cups. Somebody want to forget about the past, I'm hearing. Like, somebody wants this wish with you. They do. And they in so much regret because somebody finding out you're going to get this wish regardless. What's the tower? The Tower, Holy Spirit. The Tower. Lovers. Page of Pentacles. What's the Tower? Yeah, Three of Cups. There's going to be some type of celebration, reconciliation. Yes, I'm telling you. Four of Wands, the Emperor, the Sun, the Ace of Cups. I cannot make it up. Whoever did all of this behind the scenes, I'm telling you. Uh-uh. Divine knew what they was doing the whole time. <laughs> Look at this. Four Wands, the Emperor, the Sun, and Ace of Cups. Somebody's going to be happy regardless. They're going to be celebrating. Okay. This person is going to get this new beginning. They're going to have this brand new beginning. Somebody literally was with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. It's like somebody was trying to stop destiny. <sighs> Yeah. They didn't want to see two people together. Somebody felt like if these two people come together, they will be kicked out or, you know, or this person would kick them to the, the curve or something or... Mm. It's like somebody is waking up from some type of illusion or magic that somebody was doing upon them. And it's having like an adverse effect. Somebody like, but then after all this adversity, after everything that I done did to this goddamn Empress or Emperor, take a how it resonates, how is they able to still be happy? How is they able to still get this new beginning? How is they able to still get all of this? Cause, cause, it was destined. It's part of their destiny. And you think you big and bad to stop it. Okay. God said, yeah, I'll show you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Discipline. Mm. Tell you one thing. Mm -mm -mm. You ready to get a beat in from, from a person in the street? In the street! Okay? I'm telling you to get a beat in front of the divine. Oh, shit. Somebody gonna learn today. They gonna learn today. Something could be going down today. <laughs> The spirit is saying no. Somebody was doing the most. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Somebody realized, like, what the hell? You still moving away to Karma Waters? I did all of that. You still happy? 
here.